Can I just take a moment to rant about this Obi-Wan Kenobi series because I've got a lot of thoughts here, right? So it's, it's been a few days since episode four came out and can I just start from the beginning, right? So episode one, episode one of the show, it started and I thought, okay, this is all right. It's all right most of the time. Um, I'm enjoying seeing what Obi-Wan's doing. I'm enjoying seeing he's like this struggling guy. He's like trying to get over what's happened in the past. Uh, we also had that flashback at the beginning during Order 66. That was done beautifully. That was really good. Uh, the only thing I didn't like in the first episode was Leia. And it's not, that's, that's maybe being over the top. I didn't dislike Leia necessarily, but I disliked the things surrounding her story. I don't mind the, the fact that Leia is part of the show. Um, I'm just a little bit annoyed that she's so, like, in the forefront. This is this show has basically turned into uh, Leia, a Star Wars story, as opposed to Obi-Wan Kenobi, in my view. Um, I didn't mind seeing Leia, but in episode one, I was so annoyed when there was this chase scene, and she's running away from the bad guys, and it's like, that, is, that might be the worst chase scene I've ever seen in my life. Like, literally, she's running past trees and the bad guy just oh i guess we can't go under this branch we can't go through this bush like they're they're running like like you would chase after a toddler like you would genuinely like if you're playing a game of catch with a toddler and you like chase after them but you're not really chasing after them that's what was happening here they're running like and then oh she ducked under a branch and then they go around the branch and it went on and on it was it was awful absolutely awful anyway that was the only part of the episode i didn't actually like in episode one then we get to episode two, which I disliked quite a lot, actually. I didn't, I didn't like episode two. And it's because it was, it, it confirmed for me that the show wasn't going to be what I thought it was going to be. The show, um, I thought that the show was going to be about the relationship between Anakin and Obi-Wan. That is what the trailers seem to suggest. That's what the marketing seemed to suggest. Um, that's what all of this stuff seemed to suggest. And episode one, it was, I didn't know where it was going to go, but episode two... It turned into basically just a full-blown thing between Obi-Wan and Leia. And obviously we've got Reva or Reva, whatever her name is, on the side. And uh, I don't think she's a very good character. I think it's also pretty obvious to me that she's eventually going to turn uh, to, the, to the good side. I don't know, maybe she won't. But um, I wish Darth Vader was in her position actually hunting Obi-Wan himself. That, that's what I thought was going to be happening in this show. Anyway, then we get to episode 3. Probably on par with episode one mostly, but it still had some glaring issues. Like, I liked, I liked the uh, Obi-Wan Leia dynamic a little bit better in this one. But I, there was a lot of stupid stuff. It was nice to see Darth Vader coming out and he was choking people and he was doing the whole thing. And that whole scene when he was approaching that, that house, that was all well done. But then it came to, like, the battle between Obi-Wan and Darth Vader and I was pretty underwhelmed personally. I didn't think it was all that great. I wasn't, I didn't enjoy it. I just, I wanted to enjoy it. I really want to love this show, but I didn't enjoy it. And, you know, I actually saw um, a TikTok and someone had taken the scene that from that episode where they were fighting and battling and then Darth Vader's like burning him. And someone did something very simple. They put music over the sequence. And you know what? They actually made the sequence much, much better. It was like there was something missing, I felt, when I was watching it for the first time, when I watched the, the thing in the episode and the whole sequence. And I thought... You know, there's something missing here. It just, it feels off and I feel underwhelmed. And, you know, I think it may be music. Because when you go back to see, like, a lot of these epic battles, for example, in, uh, like, episode three, the movie, in Revenge of the Sith, um, a lot of what makes those scenes really work and what makes that good is the music. If you take the music out of there, a lot of the emotional impact and a lot of, like, the, the scale and the epicness is actually lost. And I feel like that really did happen, um with episode three there with that show off showdown between them also like reva reva managing to like somehow get in front of late like ugh, there was a whole mess with like running through these tunnels to escape and somehow the inquisit ugh, I, I don't even I don't, I don't know how that happens a lot of weird stuff going on there was also uh an episode two the very end of it it's like the inquisitor reveals to obi-wan oh anakin skywalker is alive and people are kind of confused how does she know his name is Anakin Skywalker like isn't that a thing that's quite uh like not everyone knows that's not like general knowledge and people are also like how did he not know that Anakin was alive as well I mean it's been 10 years is he completely clueless does he not know that Darth Vader is a thing like 
helping with the Emperor? Like, does he not know what's going on in, in the galaxy? And people were also concerned because Reva stabbed the Grand Inquisitor with a lightsaber. And they're like, oh my god, did she just kill the Grand Inquisitor? And obviously he can't be dead, like, he must still be alive, surely? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm confused, honestly, because he's alive in Rebels, which is set after this. So the only thing I can maybe think is maybe he does die and, like, maybe there's in, like, a clone of him or something? I, I don't know. Anyway, then we get to episode four. I'm rambling and rambling, but we get to episode four, and this is the one I want to talk about, because episode four is where I've basically given up faith in this show, to be honest. To be to be quite honest, I have uh, given up faith in this show by this point. I'll, I'll continue watching, and there are moments that I'm going to enjoy, but, uh, yeah, I, I've given up some faith, because I wrote a comment here, um, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna read the comment I left on on a website where after I watched this show and I said what the hell am I watching I really want to love this show but it's just so difficult the action choreo uh, the action choreography in this episode was beyond awful and we are still getting way too much focus on Leia and Reva I don't care about young Leia and I certainly don't care about Reva what I care about is Obi Wan and Anakin I want to explore that relationship between those characters not the one between Obi Wan and Leia. A little bit of that would be would have been fine, but not this much. This show is a mess, and my faith in it is practically all gone. I suspect we might get one final decent scene between Obi Wan and Vader in the final episode, but aside from that, I don't see this show becoming anything near what I'd hoped for. Um, at this point, I think the only the only decent Star Wars show, the only decent Star Wars I think we've gotten since a long in a long time, is The Mandalorian. To be, no, to be fair, I, I quite liked uh, Rogue One was good as well. Um, but I'm, I'm really not a fan of the sequels. Um, I'm a book, book of Boba Fett, the first half of that was pretty awful. The end was pretty awful as well. It only got good somewhere around the middle. Um, and this show is just, it's, it's been a letdown for me. And maybe I'm in the minority here because I see a lot of people also saying good. I, I think the, the fan base seems to be pl pretty split. I see a lot of people saying, oh, I really loved seeing this and I really love seeing that. But I'm just also really confused. Like, why is Hayden Christensen back? Because all he's doing is sitting in the back to tank. Like, that is literally all he's doing. Like, I saw a post somewhere and it was like, okay, we have one guy who wears the Vader suit. Not Hayden. There's, there's, there's two other guys aside from Hayden who wear the Vader suit, right? One of them wears it for walking and for sitting down and all that sort of stuff and there's another one who does it in the battle scenes and it's like okay so when does Hayden wear the suit what is Hayden here for to sit in a back to tank for what like 10 seconds every episode is that really worth it like he was so forefront in all of these interviews and the promotion leading up to the release of the show I genuinely thought we were going to be exploring the relationship between him and Obi-Wan but we've not been doing that I thought we were going to be getting some like uh flashbacks and stuff the, the uh, disney recommended they came out and said oh watch these episodes of clone wars leading up to it so you can have the full story and you can understand these specific episodes and it seems like it's all been for nothing it's like there was a there was a quick mention of obi-wan's past love interest but that that was about it we didn't really get anything else so far and we've only got two episodes left i mean maybe maybe we're, these last two episodes are going to blow us all out of the water we're going to be absolutely amazed they're going to be fantastic but I'm just, I'm not see, I'm not sure it's going to happen. I'm not seeing it. I hope I'm wrong. But so far, like, this show is very, I, I liked, I'll say, I, I thought episode one and episode two were decent. They were, they were, I, could, I could maybe even go as far as saying they were mostly good, aside from some glaring issues. They weren't amazing, but they were probably, they were solid. But episode two was, uh... And episode four was just downright bad. Just, it wasn't a good episode. Um, anyway, let me know what you're thinking about this stuff in those uh, comments down below. I might make another Obi-Wan video, depending on how episode five and episode six goes. Um, I'm hoping that it's going to get better. And if it does, I'm going to, I'll definitely make videos. I'm so glad, saying I'm so glad it was wrong. But I don't see it happening. Anyway, until next time, folks, goodbye.